Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve example 11 from chapter 7 coordinate geometry. In my previous videos, I have completed the distance section and area of a triangle formula. Examples 1 to 10 and exercise 7.1 and 7.2 from the same chapter. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Example 11 from chapter 7 coordinate geometry says find the area of a triangle whose vertices are 1 comma minus 1 minus 4 comma 6 and minus 3 comma minus 5. So here they have given us vertices of a triangle. So let us first draw a triangle and name it as A, B and C. So since we have to find out area of this triangles whose vertices are given, let us take the point A as 1 comma minus 1, point B as minus 4 comma 6 and point C as minus 3 comma minus 5. Right? Always remember to name the triangle in a order that is A, B and C and also take the vertices in an order that is the first vertex will be point A, second will be point B and the third vertex given will be point C. So now let us write down let point A as 1 comma minus 1, point B as minus 4 comma 6 and point C as minus 3 comma minus 5. Let us use the formula that is given to find out the area of a triangle. Write down the formula area of a triangle is equal to half into if you have watched the introduction part for area of a triangle video there I have given you a trick also how to remember the formula so let me show you again here take the numbers as 1 2 and 3 here again we have to take the number in the order I have taken in an anti-clockwise direction you can also take in clockwise direction you can follow any one of the order or anti-clockwise or clockwise direction. So first term will be x1. So x1 into inside the brackets we will take y terms. So after 1 which is the number we have y2. So we will take y2 minus y3 plus the next term we will take x2. Okay so after 2 which is the number we have 3 so we will take y3 minus y1 inside the bracket so this goes on in a cyclic order so the third term will be x3 so after 3 which, which is the number it is 1 so we will take y1 minus y2 inside the bracket right so this is our formula this is the best way to remember this formula that is the area of a triangle without any confusion so now we have got the formula using this formula we will find out area of the given triangle and let us assume point A to be here as x1 y1, point B to be x2 y2 and point C to be x3 y3. Okay, So now apply the formula by substituting the values. So half into what is x1 value? It is 1 into y2 minus y3 y2 is 6 and y3 is minus 5. So it is y2 that is 6 minus of y3. y3 value is minus 5 again. So always remember here that you have to take the sign correctly. People go wrong only by sign confusion. So always remember to take sign values properly. Then we have plus x2. x2 value is minus 4. Right? Minus 4 into y3 is minus 5 minus y1 that is again minus 1 plus again x3 is minus 3 into y1 is minus 1 minus of y2 which is 6 right so now let us first simplify the signs here so that we don't get confused so we have half into we have 1 into 6 minus into minus will become plus so this will become 6 plus 5 into we have here plus into minus 4 so what is minus into plus it will become minus 4 into we have minus 5 again here we have minus into minus will be which will become plus 1 plus into minus will be again minus 3 into minus 1 
minus 6. Let us take it step by step so that you will have no confusion. So again here we have 1 into 6 plus 5. What is 6 plus 5? It is 11. So 1 into 11 will be 11. Then we have minus 4 into let us substitute the bracket first so we have here minus 4 plus 1 so 5 minus 1 is 4 so this will be minus 4 since we have a minus sign to the greater number then we have minus 3 into minus 1 and, and minus 6 so we have to add here since the signs are same with the minus sign so this will be minus 7 half into 11 minus into minus will become plus and 4 into 4 will become 16 again minus into minus will become plus 3 into 7 will be 21 so first let us add the bracket terms so what is 11 plus 16 plus 21 11 16 and 21 so adding 6 plus 1 is 7 7 plus 1 is 8 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 so we got 48 so half into 48 so let us cancel now here 2 1 times 2 2 is a 4 2 4 is a 8 therefore we got the answer as 24 this is the area of a triangle area of a triangle is equal to 24 square units since there is no units given here so we are writing square units okay so this is how we solve this problem whenever the vertices are given and we have to find out the area of a particular triangle if you have any further doubts you can comment me below in the comment section in my next video i'll be solving example 12 from chapter 7 coordinate geometry so till then do like my video subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as i'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th slc nsart math and also do watch the related videos of chapter 7 coordinate geometry shown on the screen thank you